you know you ain't alone. You ain't nothing alone. You ain't alone in the force. Nobody is alone in the force. Don't alone in your own little narcissistic head. There's a whole lot out there. They don't seem to be interested in us. Not that much, much interested. Um, there's a whole lot out there. It's only interesting because of free energy. That's the only interesting point. Free energy. We literally are being kept in uh, conflict with one another. Uh-oh. Look at the energy. See, my cell phone is dying. That's that's my point. <laughs> it is. See, my cell phone, ah, oh, it just shut down. There go my comments. See, look at that. See, if we have free energy, if we can get everybody talking about UFOs now, my cell phone wouldn't have died. My cell phone died. Dang, 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 dang. Yes, I'm so sick of this world. <laughs> that's how I know we're not going to make it. We can't even keep cell phones charged. Like, Mona, we don't make no damn diseases. No, we, well, do we make diseases? No, we encourage diseases. We encourage diseases because we sell M&Ms in, in your local grocery stores and we give them to children. We get them addicted to sugar and we have, we create disease. Well, is that is that is that is that just being an engineer? <laughs> is that just helping our ch helping to, to engineer disease in our children? Maybe that's what it is. You can laugh about it if you want. I think it's funny. I did it to mine. I you know I was told to. I was I was indoctrinated. <laughs> You know, it's Halloween, go get your cancer candy. You know, we did it, but I, I changed my mind. I mean, I told them later, y'all, you're gonna die, you eat that stuff. I took them to Walmart and I just made them stand there at the grocery line, look at people. She gonna die, he gonna die. They gonna die together as a family and a couple. See, they passing that diabetes on down. He's passing that and that cardio back. Yep, see, they all, they gonna die. Look, 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 see how big they are? <laughs> Sound like all these years. No, I did that with my kids. I, every time we go to the grocery store, and they did that to me once. <laughs> I told you I had to get barbecue chips. My son looked right on the ingredient label, a little bastard. <laughs> He's like, Daddy, Daddy, what's moon or not, not maca frutos? <laughs> I was like, shut up. Stop looking at my ingredients. These are, these are daddy chips. <laughs> daddy has to deal with oppression and slavery. He has to put food on the table. You leave Daddy alone. <laughs> He's like, but Daddy... <laughs> Uh, my kids are little me, They're little bastards. Uh, I don't know how y'all stand me. <laughs> uh, love candy, but why make it uh, with stuff no good for us? Well, Jasmine, you can make healthy candy. They make healthy candy. They use um, what is it? Um, uh, stevia. They make healthy candy. We just don't buy them. <laughs> There's a difference between. Them, you know, so the difference is we don't want to make it. That's what it is. That we're lazy. We got slavery and oppression, <laughs> forced labor. We have to make some currency and pay rent so we live under the under New York City because that's what our government wants. Um, no, it, it, it's not in, industry wise. It's too expensive to make healthy candy. I mean, some people do. There, are, I've seen the companies. You know, but it's too expensive. Like, who's gonna bend, spend eight dollars for one M and M? Like, who, <laughs> who's gonna do that? I'm, a, I'm buy a pack of M and M's with like five M and M's in there, and it's like one week's salary, one week's paycheck. Nobody, you you can't afford it because we literally, it's cheaper to have chemicals. What is it, aspartame? It's cheaper to have all that in your food. And plus, if people start eating healthy candy, then how are you gonna get Democrats and Republicans in office? How are you gonna keep them in office if people eating healthy? It means people aren't getting diseases, and they don't need help for them from their government. <laughs> They're not fighting over health care. But you can make your own healthy candy at home. I had me some candy this morning. I had I had ice cream this morning. I had avocado ice cream with some blueberries in there. Oh, it's delicious, delicious. I'm, I'm changing, you know, I, I, yeah, I get my potato chips every now and then. My kids are troll me, but no, I eat healthy. I do eat healthy a lot. I'm getting ready for the cocoa virus, just in case one of y'all come over there coughing up on me. Somebody come over here with these little cute babies you gotta hold. You can't resist, you gotta pick the baby up with snot on his fingers. It rubs it in your eyes. That's why I drink my smoothie. I'm gonna make a smoothie. That's making me want to get a smoothie right now. To be honest with you, I'm gonna get a smoothie right now. Cause people still getting their food at their local Walmart. <laughs> Did Target start doing that? Does Target have food now? Does Target? <laughs> what is what is uh, Michael Pollan? What was that deep thing he said? He said never, never buy your food where you feel your cough. Or something like that. Like, what does Exxon Mobil have to do with your immune system? Uh, keeping votes going. All right, anyway. They're putting sweetener in everything, including things with sugar and people, and are bloating up like whales. Yes, I wonder why. Yes, because they're fighting us up for the kill, Debbie. They're going to fatten us up. That's where, um, 
<laughs> That's where fat people come from. Fat people come from America because they're fattening us up for the kill. You know, it's, it's uh, what is the name of that movie? Um, where you got the zombie rules? What's the name of that movie? Oh, I gotta watch. I haven't watched that in a long time. Not Shaun of the Dead. Zombie Land. Got the zombie rules. All you gotta do is be. All you gotta. You don't have to outrun everybody. You just gotta outrun the American that shops at their Walmart for their for their produce. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. And Walmart has organic food now. Y'all, did y'all hear about that? <laughs> if you don't trust that, uh, we all gonna die, y'all. We just. I don't know. It's, it's a species divided against itself. We only go out one way. There's only one way, and it's not going to be like sweet in the casket with nice music. That's the people who get out of here early. They can have all that love and sweetness. <laughs> you know, they get that in flowers and stuff, and everybody miss you, and they put pictures of you up on the big screen now. And, ah, the eulogy. No, most of that ain't, we ain't going to get that. Most of us know we're going to get fired. <laughs> we're going to be like thrown on a pile and like burned because we were in an apocalypse because somebody released a bioweapon called the Coco virus. <laughs> or we're going to be running and our neighbors like trying to eat the fat off of our back. You don't think people who do cannibalism stuff? <sighs> yeah, people did. We literally still got cannibals today. When people get hungry enough. You ain't got no more peas on this shelf. They're going to try to eat your, your pinky toe. Make soup out of it. That's just how it goes. You, until we learn to work as a collective, we're just waiting for our apocalypse. It's literally, it, there's a date on that apocalypse. A date, I tell you. All right. Um, what was I doing? Oh, we're looking at the news. Anything in the news? I don't think anything in the news. Any more that we're going to kill ourselves in the news? <laughs> it's, it's almost fun. You can almost do a theme and just sit here.